Hello beautiful peeps, here we are officially on our way to SEED 2021. I am so grateful that we were invited as special guest at Southeast Game Exchange and we had our very own panels. Now what you are seeing here is what we did on a Friday. We boarded our very first plane at Arkansas being our first stop and later on we transition on boarding a second plane at Atlanta now this trip was fairly short the one at Atlanta was probably 30 minutes or so so it was super quick to get to South Carolina and can I just mention the fact that I absolutely enjoy the view from up here it was simply breathtaking all right y'all so we made it we made it officially yeah, look who I got here. Say hi. Right <laughs> so, yeah, we made it to South Carolina and we're on our way to Southeast Game Exchange. So, uh, hopefully, I'll see y'all lovely, beautiful peeps over there. And, uh, yeah, getting ready for our panel this weekend. It's going to be pretty exciting. So, I can't wait. I'll show you guys in a minute. Siege. So. On a bit. After landing at South Carolina, gotta be honest, I was quite hungry, so we made a stop at Rocky's Hot Chicken Check because supposedly it is well known for its good chicken. And of course, we met John Riggs and our friend Jake Randall to grab some grub. Hey, where are we, babe? Say it right. Chicken, 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 chicken. Where are we? <laughs> Just say the name. Oh. <laughs> Rocky's hot chicken shack. Chicken sh <laughs> so supposedly they serve the best type of chicken. I, I assume. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna taste it. It's Friday. It's the day before siege. So we're we're warming up, y'all. So uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. is my panel, and your panel is at three, right? Yes. 3 p.m. So. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be pretty fun. Doesn't that look scrumptious, guys? This is actually a great spot to go to whenever you decide to visit South Carolina. Hey guys, this is Zap Crystal in the building. We are here at South Carolina Southeast Game Exchange in Greenville Convention Center, and I got the one and only owner of who runs this joint. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, y'all? <laughs> it is Austin. How are you doing, buddy? Great, great. We're excited. So, for what I understand, this is a two-day convention. It's Saturday and Sunday. So, for people that do not know, when they come here, what do they? What should they expect? Uh, expect a lot of gaming. <laughs> I know a lot of gaming, a lot of retro gaming. I'd say the majority of our vendors are, are retro game, um, video gaming uh, vendors. But we do have a lot of artists, um, some developers are out there. We've got uh, board gaming, spar gaming, dice. Uh, and then we have a lot of like the Etsy shops that uh, are coming and setting up different crafts, uh, all kinds of stuff. And for what I heard this year, it's like when you've had most guests invited to like YouTubers yes, we've and we've got over 30, 35 special guests this year. It's, uh, it's crazy. Insane. And then y'all have also Kenny in the back. I saw him over there. Yep, Kenny James, the voice of Bowser. Uh, he's out here signing autographs. Um, another cool special guest that we have this year is Ed Annunziata, who is the creator of Echo the Dolphin and one of the early developers for the Sega Genesis. Um, yeah, he, he developed uh, X-Men, X-Men 2, Clone Wars, the Spider-Man game. And then, like I said, he created Echo the Dolphin. And a number of other different Genesis games, but uh, he's going to have a panel later on this uh, this afternoon that um, basically just discussing what it was like working for Sega back in the day. Guys, in other words, this is jam packed with a lot of stuff: tournaments, special guests, panels, gaming. I mean, what else can you add? Just just come over, just come here. That's all you need to do and hang out. So thank you guys so much. I am signing off because there's so much stuff to show you guys, and uh, y'all gonna see it later on. So peace. All right, guys, so I started game hunting really early. Thanks to my man over here. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron, so look what I got. Look what I got, guys. I got Trog. And I mean, y'all saw the price there. I don't know. I don't got, I don't got to be telling y'all how much I paid already. <laughs> so I'm like super excited because 
This has been a successful hunt, and I'm like super happy for truck. So let's keep, let's keep game hunting, boys and girls. All right, hunting. guys, welcome. This is Dab Crystal. We are here at Greenville Convention Center, guys, and my God, there's so many amazing stuff happening today, such as, look who I got with me. Look who I got with me. It is the one and the only. It's uh, Kenny James. Kenny James in the <laughs> building. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm so excited because he is here. It's not your first time, right? Uh, first time here. It yeah. Is your first time. Yeah, first time in South Carolina, even. That is amazing. Yeah. How, how has your experience been? Uh, it's good so far. I mean, we just got here, just got started, but uh, people are already bouncing off my table, and it's been fun so far. So guys, if you want to meet Kenny here live, guys, he has a table set up. You can come and get your autograph. You can come and take pictures with him. It's an amazing time. So come over here Saturday and Sunday, I repeat, at Greenville Convention Center. You won't want to miss it because my dude here, he's amazing, guys. <laughs> So we're covering the whole convention. We're over here walking throughout the entire panel. I showed you guys the sign where we have everything going on. Hello, beautiful peeps. How y'all doing? <laughs> so we're so ready, guys. We've been, I just did an interview with Kenny. Uh, we're covering the whole floor. And, uh, and yeah, just meeting great, awesome people here. And it's fun. It ex is exciting. And I'm just looking forward to everything that's going to happen right here at Greenville Convention Center. Look who I have. Look who I have right here. Yo! Johnny Boot Boot Boot. <laughs> we got John in the house. <laughs> How y'all <you> doing? <laughs> All right, guys. There, there's a lot going on. There's, there's tables and tables and tables of artwork. I'm going to show you guys everything. And uh, it's, it's just pretty exciting, everything that's happening right now. So let me just check. Let me show you guys. All right, guys, this is Zap Crystal. We are here in South Carolina, Greenville Convention Center, and I'm so excited, guys. There's so many great things happening, such as tournaments. Well, what sort of tournaments are gonna be happening today? Well, at 11, we're gonna be having our original Halo, and then we're also doing a Classic Tetris World Championships regional qualifier that starts at 12. So you, all you have to do is come in and try and get your highest scores possible to try and get entry to the, the World Championships. And there's also a cash prize, $250 for that. And then we have Mario Kart 64 today and Smash, uh, Super Smash Brothers for 64 today. Tomorrow, do you guys have any tournaments that are going to be done? Yes, we're going to do some high score tournaments like Miss Pac-Man and some Sega Genesis, Tony Hawk's Pro, Pro Skater. So yeah, we got a lot of good tournaments tomorrow as well. Any uh, cash prizes or like prizes in general for um, tomorrow? We give out medals for every winner and runner up, and also uh, the only one that has a cash prize is the Tetris tournament. Okay. Awesome. Well, guys, you heard it here. So if you're you're still on time, you're still on time to come today, Saturday, and tomorrow, Sunday, to be a part of these amazing tournaments and just be a part of the fun that we have here at Southeast Game Exchange. And with that, I am signing off, guys, and seeing you in the next one. So, peace. So as I continue doing my convention coverage and interviewing amazing guests at Southeast Game Exchange, I decide to continue doing some game hunting as well as toy hunting at the main floor of Greenville Convention Center. The reason why is as being invited as a special guest, we are allowed to go in at least one hour early to see what the vendors have at their tables and probably purchase anything that we have in our wish list or something that might pique our interest or attention. So yes, guys, there was plenty of tables, plenty of vendors, a little bit of everything for everyone. And of course, I'm gonna show you something I found while doing game hunting at Siege 2021. 
All right, guys, this is Zab in the house. We're here at Southeast Game Exchange Greenville Convention Center, and I just picked up a little precious gem. It's Dig Duck 2, and obviously I picked it up at your table, so do you want to explain to everyone here what your store is about? Yeah, we, we do have a storefront in Elizabethan, Tennessee, and okay. it's like two and a half hours away from here, okay. and you name it, we've probably got it. So if they come here, what they uh, what should they expect when it comes to game inventory right now? What do you have? A little bit of what? Right now? Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Way too much stuff. So I see you got NES, you got Nintendo 64, PS2, you even got Neo Geo. Yeah, there, there's a little bit of everything. Of course, I always put the Dreamcast stuff where where people can see it because it's always going to be my favorite. But oh, okay. Of course, after our panel, we had to do some sort of collabs, and that include monkeying around, having fun, and just a bunch of bloopers that you guys are going to see because I did not eliminate anything. So without further ado, let's see this. Hey guys, it is Zap Crystal in the building. We're here at Southeast Game Exchange at Greenville Convention Center, and look who I got with me. Hi guys, J Love eighty one. Now there's something everybody wants you to do to me. Okay. Do you know what that is? I, I have a strong feeling I know what it is. What, what, what is it? She, she wants me to slap her. So they must slap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta, we gotta do the <laughs> slap. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm not ready, but let's go. You might, let's get, go. Some, you might get some reflex. Ready? You ready for this? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I did. I, okay. All right. Listen, you heard it, folks. She asked for it. Let's go, all right. Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> we did it. She did. Oh my God, I'm so honored. I'm so honored. I got stamp of approval. All right, guys. So, as always, we do a trivial question, and I want to know what she thinks. So, it's not going to be an easy question, just letting you know. So, <laughs> so the question is, what is one system? <laughs> Do you see what I got to deal with? They just don't let me. <laughs> All right, so what is one system? can't. What is one system that is your ultimate favorite, but you got to make a tweak to it to make it even better? Oh, wow. I told you it was not an easy question. That is a very tough question. My, my favorite ultimate system, I'm going to, you know, a lot of people would expect it would be the Nintendo, but probably Super Nintendo. Now, the Super Nintendo looks fantastic already, I think, in my opinion, but yeah, it would have to be that. It would have to be Super Nintendo. So what would you change to make it better? I would make I would make all the games have like that. Steve! <laughs> Mr. Wright in the house, guys! Mr. Wright! You know what, what I would do is make everything look like Mario, like, um, oh my god, I can't even. Donkey Kong Country, the way that that looked, all uh -huh. the games should look like that. That's what I would do. All right, let's let, let, let's start all over again. <laughs> what happened? You totally interrupted me. No, that's it. That's it. Linda, do you see what I gotta deal with? All right, let's go again. All right, good. All right. So what is one system that is your ultimate favorite and that you would be... A wild gabble approaches. And what would you tweak to make it better? Well, a lot of people probably expect me to say Nintendo, which is my first system, and I do favor that system, but my ultimate is probably the Super Nintendo. And I think it looks fantastic already, but if I had to make changes, they would all look like how Donkey Kong Country looked. And I that thought that was perfect. So good. It is so good, yeah. Because it's like the, like the background like is still, but it's like pre-rendered. Yes. yes. And then the music. 
Yeah. That no, the music, that was the best soundtrack. It's Donkey Kong Country, the first one. I'm not knocking the others, but the first one is my favorite. Yeah. That's, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. You got me thinking now, actually. Yeah. But do you think still, okay, so this is, this has nothing to do with, with the, with your favorite system. This is like a current question. Do you think Nintendo will ever make a new DK uh, game, but similar to probably like, let's say Donkey Kong 64? Uh, like a 3D? That's a good question. Um, they might dabble in that again, but I don't think so. I, for some reason, I just don't think it's gonna, cause the, the most popular is that kind of like 2D, 3D, yeah. you know, effect. Like, like the tropical freeze. freeze, yeah. I think they know that they got something there. I personally prefer it like that. Yeah. Versus Donkey Kong 64. But yeah. to each his own, they might, you know, just for the 3D aspect. Yeah. You know, just like oh, we have Mario 3D World, we have, you know, Mario 64, yeah. and then you have the 2D side scrolling Mario. They might, they might do that to Donkey Kong, make all three like that, you know. All right, guys. Well, you heard her here. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. See you guys. Bye. And with that, guys, this is only a appetizer of what is coming up in the next following weeks. Because believe me, guys, I got plenty of Siege content, a lot more collabs with another amazing content creators. So many bloopers, so many laughs, so many fun moments that you guys are now going to witness from Siege 2021. And with that, stay rad and game on.